So, in addition to buying the other printer, I also purchased an HP 2620. The 2620 was about $49.99, marked down from $70 at Target. I figured that I would replace any printer that was getting worn out with an all-in-one printer, scanner, copy, or fax. This printer, like the uh, other one that I have that I'm going to post a link to, um, this one does not have wireless internet access. This one is a straightforward printer, scanner, copy, or fax, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi direct. It's um, white rather than black. Um, they also had a HP Envy series of printer, and that one had a stainless steel finish like the HP Envy computers. Every now and then, like, sometimes you get an email or something on your phone, and uh, you want to print it out, like, sometimes you get a coupon. Right. So, basically, I can print stuff that's on the phone that comes in through an email when I need to, and, you know. Is that the only thing good for that? Right it, other than that, the one I got is the same as this. It's, okay. it's just a different color, black. Yeah, I want it black. Yeah. Yeah, it's about it's it's really the same. There's really no difference. Loading system, even though this printer looks similar to the other one that I have, the loading system is in the back and it feeds out the front. So right now I'm doing the um, the you know the required uh, what is it called? Um, Printing of the alignment paper. So you print out the back and it comes out the front. The Fax and alignment setup is the same as the last printer that I just reviewed. So you, most of you already know, so this is nothing new. You simply print out the alignment page, you put it on the flatbed scanner, and then it scans it and it aligns itself. This way you can print photos and documents and it'll look as sharp as humanly possible to see. Finish scanning the alignment page and the printer has now aligned the cartridges. Once that is done, the next thing you can do is you can set up your uh, fax system. Now, this is in a different location than the last machine that I set up, so the phone number is different. So I'm going to have to go, all you do is you just push down, it's pretty simple and it's straightforward. You go to fax, after you click fax, you go down to uh, settings, and once you get to settings, you go to, you set, how do you want this, do you want the thing to answer, auto answer, no, because you don't want the fax machine interfering with a regular phone call. Auto redial, you can set that phone book, you can set that up yourself, depending upon what names and numbers you have. You can change from letter to legal, fax header, schedule a fax, you can actually schedule faxes when to receive it, so it'll turn the answer machine off, and um, also reprint missed faxes junk faxes um, it's hard it's a little hard to see this because of the uh, lighting in the back however um, you know it's better than nothing some for some people it's hard to see if it's not backlit fax setup wizard that's where you go then you it says ensure that all telephone cables are correctly connected it's very simple to do it's pretty straightforward and all you basically do is you just move from menu to menu you enter your name it, it's um, it's a texting interface so you have to type J O like if you want to put the name John J O okay in fact let's go back you push the back arrow to go back one let's say John okay so it's pretty it's pretty simple so my employee's name is John Smith so I'm gonna put okay and then you enter the phone number, which I'm not going to show you for the video, obviously. Ask you about voice call setups. Do you receive calls uh, or voice calls received on the same line? Yes, they are. Do you have a distinctive no? Is there a voicemail service? From what I know, there's not on this line. Fax setup wizard, is there an answering machine on the same line? Yes, there is. 
That's the office uh, answering machine. Fax setup is complete. And it's done. You can either run a test or you can just click done. You can change the uh, light or darkness of your faxes to make it uh, better if the other person on the other side doesn't see it. As you notice, there's no Wi-Fi options like you saw in the last printer that I just um, reviewed. I'll probably include a link just in case you want to see it. This printer, this printer was uh, only $49.99 at Target. So if Target was able to sell it for that price because of the back-to-school sales, I would assume you could get it on eBay or you can get it on Amazon probably at the same price, about $50. The only downside is it doesn't have Wi-Fi. Because it doesn't have Wi-Fi, you can't simply print off tablets and other things unless you're running some kind of app that allows you to print via Wi-Fi. So just remember that. In my opinion, it's actually worth the money to go for the Wi-Fi version if you absolutely need it. Like if you have a bunch of kids in the house or if you have a bunch of people in the house using laptops, tablets, smartphones who may get coupons and stuff through email that they want to print out and they don't want to have to go through the hassle of going through the computer first. <laughs> I got tired of going over to that 99. No, that store over there. No, I need it. Or whatever. Who's over there? And making copies and faxing. Mm hmm. No, you pretty much have to have your own fax machine nowadays. You can't. As much as you'd love to get away with not having one. Whenever I replace a printer, I just go ahead and just get the whole thing. No, that's a couple. I didn't want to get that small. Like, do you remember that printer? I got that copy machine. I got the. It was only the copy machine. I said, no, I need. I want to transfer the copy. Man, that looks nice. You say so.